Hey guys, Bobby Hughes here with Hollow Point Firearms and uh, today I'm bringing you guys a short little update video on uh, the homemade pontoon boat that we're building. Uh, we've got, at this point, we've got our frame completely done. Um, all the framework is complete and so we're getting ready to throw it on the trailer and uh, give it a good washing and get all the, uh, the spatter and everything off from, from welding and uh, clean it up and get it painted, get a coat of paint on it, and then we'll do the float test in video four. So uh, anyway, I'm going to give you guys a walkthrough real quick, and uh, don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so that you can uh, get the updates whenever we post the new videos, and uh, we'll get video four up probably within the next week or so. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and do a walkthrough. All right, so I'm going to start back here at the back and kind of give you guys a, an overlook of the frame. Um, we built the outside. You guys are already familiar with the, the actual pontoon frames. So what we did was I took, uh, this is two inch uh, angle iron, all right? It's eighth inch thick. And I laid it down on the ground and squared it ahead of time. Um, and I just used the, the hypotenuse formula to get it good and square. And then we tacked it together. And then once we got it, uh, got the frame square, we set it up on top of the pontoons and adjusted the pontoons to fit the square frame. After we got the uh, initial outside frame set on there, we went back and uh, put the these two long pieces in here, all right, and those run the whole length, and then it comes back, and then our transom is tied into the center frame pieces, and those also act as support support for the uh, the center of the uh, the deck so uh, we tied that in there the transom is uh, basically just cut and piece some stuff together um, and that's at a 15 degree angle all right so it's important to have your transom at the right angle so that's at a 15 degree angle there uh, and then we just cased it in with with some uh, 18 gauge sheet metal and then got a good bead all the way around it welded and then the inside here, I just uh, cleaned it up and painted it black. The actual transom block is a piece of 2 by 12 pressure treated. And then I uh, just drilled the holes through here into the wood. And then also we took some eighth inch steel banding, the same scrap stuff that we had from making the bands for the pontoons, just to give it a little bit more support in the back and keep the bolts from pulling through. So we got all that done see here we built a little neat little frame here on the back we'll set a piece of plywood the marina plywood in here and that'll give us a nice place to put our gas tanks um, and then we're also thinking about putting a generator on here to run uh, lights for bow fishing and stuff so that'll be where all of that sets you see it's the same on both sides then uh, as far as the rest of it goes we just laid in the uh, three-quarter inch eighth inch thick uh, angle iron for the center supports. You can see I just cut them, we cut them and ran them across and then welded them together in all the spots here so it's all nice and we even put a few tacks to hold them together make it a little bit stronger and then our, our actual marina plywood, our decking will just lay right in inside of here. All right, so we did that every two feet so they're on two foot centers, 24 inch centers and then uh, that's pretty much it on that part. Now the, uh, the last thing that we did was just to add a little bit of stability to the actual pontoons um, to help hold it to the frame a little bit better is we put in some uh, cross bracing and it just basically tucks right up under the center here and then comes down and it's welded right to the, uh, the band. So that'll just keep it from, uh, keep the pontoon from flexing and it also adds support. You can see we put another one in here it adds support to the center of the deck so that it doesn't sag. So we've got three on each side there. And uh, give you a front view here. And then we just made this little front piece here out of some scrap that we had left over. Just brought it out. Uh, this is actually just a, um, a U-bolt that I bought at the hardware store and cut it off and welded it to the front here. It'll just be a tie for a come along or whatever. And then, uh, uh, what we'll do is cut and put a piece of wood in here and then mount our bow light right here in the center. And that'll uh, hopefully prevent us from stepping on the bow light. That's the reason why I wanted to put it 
out front as opposed to on the regular deck. Just to give you a little overview. You can see it's coming together pretty nicely. Um, like I said, we, uh, we talked about the budget in the last video as far as how much we're spending. So if you haven't already seen the other videos, go ahead and check those out. It's video one and two, and then this will be video three. Um, like I said, we're getting ready right now to go ahead and put it on the trailer. And I'm going to take it and give it a good bath to get all that spatter and dust and all the gas and everything off of it. And then after we give it a bath, we'll bring it back in. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and flip it over, give it a good coat of paint. And then after that, we'll do the uh, float test on it, make sure that it's going to float properly. All right, so uh, that's it for this video, guys. Sorry it's kind of short and sweet. But I uh, just wanted to give you kind of a walkthrough of the frame before we start putting any decking or anything on there. And uh, once again, if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to keep up with the series. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the block below. And uh, go ahead and click that like button. Just lets us know that you care. And uh, until next time, get out there, shoot some guns, be safe, and most importantly, have fun. See you guys later.